So I had such a, a calm composure there to, to just not get baited by the peep. And oh, there's the uh, homemade recipe there connecting nicely as well. And Melanie with another takedown. Seven star lead then in favor of Totem. But they've got to be able to hold it and not go back too quickly on the defense. If there's, there's a lot of stars that could still potentially be gained, oh, but wow. not anymore. Return to center. They're going to tickle Sorry, <laughs> before us. Oh, oh my oh. word. The double kill on the left hand side for good measure. With 15 seconds left, they were to take it now. They can and get the lead, but the rest of the players with the oh, one immunity managed to actually take him down. Jetta lets down Melanie, but he have to push up now as Semantic still on the Look at the blocking! Look at the blocking! It's not gonna happen, it's just not gonna happen it. And that was some serious pressure here. The siege bot coming through, but is it gonna be enough? 16 seconds, 15 seconds, he's gotta get so much damage down. Done in the next 10 seconds, it's gonna start hitting the Ike now. Now, is it gonna be enough? 90, 80, I just don't think they've got enough time to get this done. It's gonna be 50, 40, well, they've done it! They've done it, they came in, they got the super down! They didn't need the bot, they just turned it round. Oh, the takedown so nicely done. A chance for Tribe and Tom Super could be the one saving grace here at just the right time. Bruce going out, 10 seconds remain. Can they make the goal? Got to pass it across, surely. It's gone into the corner. Nightmare, two seconds, one second. Shoots, oh, just gets it with a second to spare. Spend bangs it home. The biggest problem is it's YDE with the gems so the rose is basically taken out of the game but also the problem is that it is such a strong tanky brawler kc has to come around and take the gems off but now we're already at 10. oh the spin comes in but cursed is still the man to keep them at bay 15 seconds and counting as cursed will click the other now spends going hunting but with all those bushes it's so so scary to go blindly in they know where yde is they're going around the side kc puts the damage down kc gets the one down yde gonna choose get it picked off they're gonna get him down no 200 hit points the shot was coming through but exo free agents will take the W with one of those pipers actually dropping down from the deep yeah so the piper change obviously from the colette there and the sprout obviously changing out from the beanie dean lands one two three goodbye the d delivering gets all three just like that wham bam thank you ma'am and takes full control of the mid going to be a very close one because you can see Spender Tribe, uh, Casey have absolutely nothing left. Oh, Tom can't quite get enough close enough there. Gie goes diving in and Gie makes it work on El Primo. 25 seconds left. Jason's definitely doing the deeds in terms of taking down Spen, but you can see now Casey's still holding that left side, making sure that Jason doesn't sneak around. So even though he's not doing a lot, just him being positioned there, giving him that, that map presence is more than enough to keep Jason at bay. Oh, Jason is popping off right now. This is a dangerous spot for Tribe because these respawns are really suffering them. And look at how much the deficit has been closed. 4% is all that's in it, and it's just enough. Tribe are hanging on. In their favor, Jason's still hanging on to that blue star, making it work here. But it's time for Needine to land some of those shots we saw earlier on today. Managed to get himself the hat trick back to back, and there it is. The blue star goes over the snipe onto Jason. Works, but it's countered instantly. And now they're going to get around the side. Needine does manage to get BBGS there with the twit counter. And now it's all on Jason trying to get forward. He eats a rocket to the face, and it will be big taking the first match up here. Well, MMA is very low, but I'm just not too sure. The respawns come through, 12%. Now they're going to try and double up on him, and he gets down one. Jason Snipe straight in the face. There goes the super off the side, 2%. They have to protect it. Jason on nothing as they try and come through. In comes Lars. 